French Hill, great friend of mine. He's a specialist, banking, economics, everything imaginable. He's a House member of Financial Services Committee. French, so the question is, uh, President Biden asked today, what would you have me cut from the package? I guess my response is going to be, how much time do you have, sir? And how much, uh, can, <laughs> how much detail can we go into? Now, this is your, uh, this is your uh, bread and butter, French. What should be cut out of this package if the Republicans uh, were in charge? Well, Lawrence, congratulations on your new show. Great to be on with you. Thank you. Let's focus on what we've already done. We've spent $4 trillion, which is virtually 100% of what we spend an entire year to run the federal government. And we still have a trillion dollars that's not found its way into the economy, into our states, into our schools, into our health care providers. So Republicans would wait and target this relief based on the fact that the economy is reopening and reopening fast and the vaccines are having their impact. So it's a much long list. And as you say, we don't have time to go through it, but we certainly would not increase burdens on small businesses with a $15 minimum wage. Is that why, French, is that why President Biden is playing down the good news? In other words, basically they're campaigning like lagging indicators. The economy is turning up rapidly. The vaccinations are running huge. And some people are saying we'll have herd immunity by the spring or summer. Is that why they're playing it that way? Because don't Americans get, you know, annoyed at, at constant bad news and pessimism? Look, they're spending money like it's March and April of 2020. We've had the success. Operation Warp Speed was an extraordinary success. The bipartisan $4 trillion that the Congress already appropriated and a trillion dollars of which has not yet been distributed fully throughout the economy is going big, as Jay Powell called all of us to do last spring. So to me, this is really risky. And it's why even Democrats oppose this package. Larry Summers, a good friend of yours and mine, former Treasury Secretary, says it's substantially too big and could lead to unintended consequences down the road. 